Today I'm going to start adding some detail. So I'm starting with chunks of darker value that create the cast shadows. And so I'm working on a little area that will have a lot of detail. And I'm thinking about on the actual shapes themselves, how much detail they need. And how I'm going to work on blending in each of the little areas. So right now I'm kind of getting lighter as it's kind of going up. So I'm not keeping it all the same. So I'm even thinking about how the light hits the whole area. And I also want there to be variety. So now I'm adding in some of the whites which I'll then blend with a clean, dry brush. And I'll still go back in and add some more color into these areas. So with this painting, we're not sticking to local color, but I am paying attention to the way light works. And sometimes things kind of take on more of a warmer color because of the light in the room or the way that light works. I'm kind of working on blending these. I'm going to add a little bit of green because I see little bits of green. Now I can exaggerate that for some interest, but I'm adding in a little bit of green, a little bit of yellow, and some like yellow green and as I'm doing this I'm still paying attention to the values that I see but I'm also adding some interest with some color continuing to keep cleaning my brush because if I just keep brushing it's going to all blend together and so that's going to be especially important in a, in a small area and I'm over exaggerating some of these dark shapes that I see around these small little shapes. And wiping my brush, cleaning my brush, then adding in some of the white because these are very light. Laying those in. So sometimes you're just chunking in what you see. It's all about looking for these small little shapes and noticing how even on something very tiny, light hits it and it's going to be lighter on one side and it's going to slowly get darker as you go into the shadowed area and paying attention to the shape that cast shadows create. I'm adding a little bit of color. There's like this little dot and I'm adding some orange. It looks kind of a little bit more brownish orange, but I kind of emphasized it a little bit more and brightened it up with by adding a little orange. And I'm adding a little orange just for brightness into some of my whites. So think about what colors tend to brighten things up, what colors will make it more interesting Again, it's not necessary to stick to local colors. Think about artists like Monet who paint and have all kinds of colors coming through and really paid attention to light and focused on light. You can That's an artist that you can look up. And not necessarily smoothing everything. You can smooth some areas. In some areas, you can leave a little bit more textured depending on what you want to happen with your detail. So it's okay for things to be built up and for there to be little peaks. 
I'm emphasizing some of the darks. Contrast is still super important. As you step away from this painting, it should look clearer because you have enough contrast. If that's not happening, you definitely do not have enough contrast. 